hello everyone um, welcome to this short tutorial on how to download ubuntu on wsl which is windows subsystem linux so without wasting any time let's get started first of all open powershell and run it as administrator here you want to type the command wsl space hyphen hyphen install space hyphen d ubuntu 20.04 20.04 because that is the most preferable version for dft now if you want to know more about wsl you can always go to google type wsl ubuntu the first two links uh, here here there are video lectures and documentation you can learn everything in this documentation and this one as well from microsoft everything is given uh, going back to the installation type this command and press enter the installation of ubuntu 20.4 lts has started There are other methods uh, of installing this from Microsoft Store like downloading WSL separately and then installing Ubuntu but that one takes a while. This one is the best method that I found. So I prefer this. Uh, enter the Unix username. I will use alunk2004 and set a password. Repeat. Okay, now the installation has been completed. It only took like less than two minutes. So uh, now if you go to your file explorer, you can see Linux is here with Ubuntu 20.04. These are all your files, the home directory. Now what we have to do is upgrade and update this. The tools inside Ubuntu, we have to upgrade this. So type sudo apt hyphen get update password also the password you enter above while the time of installation it is not necessary that it has to be the windows password you have set there it can be different Okay, and now sudo apt get upgrade. Yes. Now both the commands have been finished. Now Ubuntu is ready. But before we could render run it properly for DFT, we need to install the visualization tools and Sista for parallel processing. Uh, these two files I'll, it will be in the description. Just copy them. Go to your home directory and paste now if we type ls yep they are here so first we will be installing the visualization tools this one 
I hope you can see it. So to run that, we just type MLV SH MLV press tab SH ML visualization tools dot SH press enter. This might take a while. Okay, for the last part, let's run the final command ls then ch mod plus x and then the script name which is script system installation underscore mlv dot sh press enter and then dot slash the script name dot slash script system installation mlv press enter and then the final installation of sista parallel processing will start uh, type your answer key with b5 or b3 b5 it is do you want to install sista in parallel mode yes okay the parallel processing for sista has been installed now let's check if it's installed properly uh, mpi run sista.exe welcome to sista yeah now your ubuntu has been installed fully for your dft purposes you can access it from the app list scroll down to ubuntu and these are the visual tools that we installed we have grace jmol molden x and everything uh, let's run one of these open ubuntu and then let's try xm grace yep We'll figure that out later now j mole yes everything is working perfectly fine and your files are stored here everything is here so this was this is how you install ubuntu using wsl hope this helped you thank you for watching alankrit varma over and out.